Hi, I'm Meg Lanning, Australian captain, and today I'm going to talk you through the cover drive. Generally, it's a full ball with a little bit of width, and the first thing to take into account is your step. You don't want one too big or one too small because the key is to be balanced to be able to hit the shot as well as you can. Magnificently sweetly struck. That's a beautiful shot from Lanny. The ball's coming down, you've taken your, your step and you want enough area for the bat to come through and swing freely so you don't want to step across too far. Generally if you take a step forward like this you'll be okay. The, the ball is generally pretty full and probably the other really important thing is to wait till the ball's underneath you and you want to hit this shot along the ground. If you make contact with the ball pretty much in line with your ankle here, means the ball's going to go along the ground. So step, wait for the ball to come underneath you, and then swing your hands through. So you can see on that one that I really waited until the ball was underneath me. And once I played the shot, I could actually stay still and not move. So that means that the step length that I've taken is good and I'm, I'm balanced. A good way to know if you've taken too big or too small is if you have to move through after the shot. That means you're not quite balanced and you need to adjust your, your step length. And there's so much air, use of the feet. So the, the cover drive is probably one of the main shots that, that I play and especially in the women's game given that the ball is generally pretty full. Um, it's a very good one to practice and and make sure you're, you're pretty good at because um, you get a lot of balls to hit um, through the covers. That's the cover drive.